Hey you guys, what's up? Um, I'm here to talk about Super Bowl 50. Now, you guys know that, or you should know that I actually, I actually do watch football. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, you know, I was waiting for Beyonce to perform too. And, and also Bruno, because I do like Bruno Mars. But, um, I actually do watch football. You guys know I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Um, but as far as the Super Bowl is concerned, I ain't going front. I was going for the Panthers. They asses. Yeah, I mean, how y'all have a good season all season long and then we get to the Super Bowl? Either one or two things. Either Cam Newton didn't want this shit for real or they paid him some good money to throw this damn Super Bowl. But I don't know. But I digress. <laughs> um, The game was born to me, though. It was, it was born. One of the most born Super Bowls. It, I mean, the game was just born. Commercials wasn't nothing to really get a key key off of. It was just boring, and I was ready for it. I was ready for them to get to halftime, like shit. But as far as the halftime performance, um, it was it was good to me. It was good. I enjoyed it or whatever. Um, I I don't know. Um, you know, you guys know Cold Cold Play was the headline for the show or whatever, but it seemed to be more about Bruno and Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know any Coldplay songs or whatever. Um, the song that, you know, um, what's, damn, what's the lead singer's name? I forgot his name, y'all, but y'all, I mean, y'all might know the name of the lead singer of Coldplay. Um, the song that they did, though, I, you know, it sounded like a good song. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the message that they was given with all the colors and everything, I thought that was pretty cool, you know. Um, Beyonce, now, <laughs> B, she did almost fall, but she caught herself real good, though. She, she played that shit off real well, and that's how you supposed to do it when you in this business you know we all human she's still human at the end of the day we all make mistakes you know what i'm saying but she really did catch herself and she did a good job catching herself you know what i'm saying but you know people was definitely <laughs> people was going crazy about the shit like as if she was just you know like she just completely fell off the stage or whatever she just got tripped up a little bit but she caught herself you know <laughs> um what else? Bruno Mars, I enjoyed him. Um, I am kind of tired of him performing the Uptown Funk song. You know, that was my shit when it first came out, though. But I am tired of him performing that song. But, it, I mean, it was still good, though, for what it was. Um, I enjoyed him and Beyonce kind of doing, like, the remix of the... You know, doing, like, their little remix or whatever of that song. Um, of course, you know, Beyonce performed the Formation song. Um, and I did see the video. Um... And speaking of the video, I enjoyed the video as well. Now, I wasn't one of the people who rushed to watch it right away because I was in the midst of doing homework. But, um, oh, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I had a, um, <laughs> had a notification. But, um, what was I saying about me? I know I was talking about her video. Um, Oh, I was saying that I wasn't one of the people, you know, who rushed to, you know, go look at the video or whatever. I did see it on my news feed. I was like, oh, okay, Beyonce done done it again, popping out some new shit on this. You know, I was in the midst of doing homework, though, so um, I was like, no, nah, let me focus. But as time started going past, some hours started going by, I was like, all right, let me take a little breaky break and uh, look at this video. And... I, I absolutely love the video. I love the message that she was given and, you know, with the lyrics and the video. You know, in the video, she was kind of on top of this police car, surrounded by a whole bunch of water, kind of like the Hurricane Katrina setup. Um, in the background, you know, you heard Big Frida's voice. Like, I, as soon as I heard his voice, I was like, oh, shit, I love me some Big Frida, y'all. Uh, instantly, I thought, you already know. <laughs> I know I ain't got no tits to, you know, shimmy or whatever, but y'all be all right. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
I really enjoyed, um, I was really, I, I kind of wish she would have had Big Frida in the video, but, I mean, it was still a good video, um, just all the other scenes, you know, she had Blue Ivy in the video, I really enjoyed that, her little natural hair, or whatever, and I was one of the ones that told everybody, oh, yeah, y'all talking shit about her hair now, look at, look at it now, it's all nice and full and shit, yeah, talking shit about her damn hair. Beyonce and Jay knew what they was doing. And, I mean, what what was she talking about? What else was she talking? I mean, yeah, she was talking about how she, basically, she don't care about the haters. She don't care what y'all got to say about her daughter's hair, what y'all got to say about her man. Um, she called herself a Texas Bama. <laughs> I was like, yes, girl, you better do that. But, um, I just, I really enjoyed the song. I enjoyed the video. I was like, damn. But at the same time, I was like, damn, she just can't let Rihanna be great, huh? Because <laughs> I know Rihanna just, you know, dropped that um work song. And I believe her and Drake are making a video or if they haven't already released a video or whatever. But I was like, damn, Beyonce just be coming out of nowhere. And now she talking about doing a tour. She just keep on with the keep on. Now, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford no Beyonce tickets. But if y'all go, y'all let me know how y'all how it was or whatever. Yeah, take a lot of pictures for me and Snapchat or whatever. You follow me on Snapchat or uh, Facebook or, you know, Instagram, whatever. But, yeah, um, back to the halftime performance. Um, I liked how Bruno and his guys his dancers or whatever they had on black i like how beyonce and her dancers had on black um i like how coldplay beyonce and bruno they all three of them came together towards the end and unity or whatever and um i think the lead singer from coldplay i think he was singing and also playing the piano and they were showing flashbacks of the past um, Super Bowl performances and everything. And also, let's talk about my birthday twin, Lady Gaga. Because I know me and Lady Gaga, we got the same birthday, March 28th. You know what I'm saying? I liked, I liked her um, performance of the um, national anthem. I don't know about y'all, but I was in awe with it. Now, I'm not saying she, you know, just the greatest of all time i'm not saying that at all you know but um because some people I, I heard that somebody was trying to say whitney houston i mean she was better than whitney houston i was like now nah, y'all taking it a little bit too far saying she's better than whitney houston mm -mm, don't 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 play yourself in my dj Khaled voice yeah <laughs> i'm telling y'all y'all need to go follow dj Khaled on snapchat don't ever play yourself but yeah um but it was a good performance seeing that from lady gaga you know what i'm saying um it was just good to me you know she um she's toned it down a lot over the last couple of years or so um she had on her red suit or whatever and her um red eyeshadow and everything and like i said she just looks so beautiful to me up there and i just i really enjoyed her performance i really did um but yeah, um, trying to think, is there anything else I need to say? Um, hmm. No, that was pretty much it. I mean, congrats to the Broncos, you know, y'all, you know, then took the, um, this year's Super Bowl or whatever, so congrats to y'all and, and everything. Um, this is the end of football season, so <laughs> until next season. But um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.